Good morning, Royal Galley High School's 2012 Students in Action Jefferson Award Committee. This is a picture of us in our committee room where we meet. Our adult advisor was Matthew Susan this year and our adult's mentor was Amber Adams. She has been in the committee for the past four years and we got in contact with her to come back. My name is Manali Patel and I'm in the 12th grade. I'm Allison Bursu, I'm also in the 12th grade. I'm Allison Adams and I'm also in the 12th grade. I'm Alexa Raley, I'm in the 10th grade. I'm Brittany Schrote, and I'm in the 10th grade. I'm Sebastian Olivares, and I'm in 11th grade. And I'm Sarah Saunders, and I'm in the 12th grade. This is our call to action for volunteers, where we have been and where we are headed. This is part of our nomination process. This is two of our committee members meeting with two of our nominees. This is everything our recipients receive at the following staff meeting. And this is our announcements in the North Cafeteria. They're about three by two feet. This is a list of all of our winners from September to April, some including Manali Patel, Shawnee and Cheyenne Gulick, John Zerka, and Andrew Walton. And this is a picture of all of our winners with our principal in front of our school. Our SIA products for 2012 were projects such as Hands for Haiti, Business Partners, where the blue folder is in your binder, um, school-wide fundraisers such as car washes, Best Buddies, and our large volunteer contest that you'll hear about later. This is a picture of our Hands for Haiti, our students holding the banner, and everybody that signed up. It was about 300 members, and that's how we advertised it with our flyers. We partnered with groups such as SGA with Hands for Haiti, where we raised $2,000 for a water filtration system. We partnered with Best Buddies, where we worked with students one-on-one -on -one with, with intellectual disabilities. And then business partners where inside your blue folder, we handed each of the um, potential business partners the business, or our folders where we worked with them to support our needs and we supported their needs. We also partnered with our guidance counselors to build a large volunteer list of 81 possible scholarships for people who volunteer. It turned out to be a, a, a school-wide event and it, um, we got over 31,000 hours uh, from the event. We also signed up, uh, volunteered with a student with to like rub on her arms, and it was a suicide awareness program where we raised $560. Students in Action, 2012 to 2013. Our goal was to get more underclassmen to step up to be in next year's and the years following leadership position. We also partnered with feeder middle schools such as Johnson and Stone to get awareness to them. And we also created a social media infrastructure using sites such as Facebook and YouTube and other resources such as the local media to get awareness of the program. The way that we improved our leadership skills is that this year we gave rewards to those students we thought would be quality leaders. And what we did this year is that we will actually give a $100 scholarship to the student with the most volunteer hours, which was what Manali was talking about. We also had our advisor and our adult sponsor mentor us and give us knowledge from past experiences with this committee and other clubs. And we've also worked one-on-one -on -one with business, smart, business partners excuse me, to build one-on-one -on -one relationship and they will also sponsor us for future events. And this is a picture of us meeting in our designated room. And the way we get the volunteering word out is in our guidance office where we have a Bright Futures program form with everything students need to know about Bright Futures and how to sign up and how many hours they need. We also coordinated activities outside of school with other groups for volunteering and helping the community and we've also organized events for students to compete for scholarships as I mentioned before. Our easier for volunteers, we connected with our guidance officers to put in a system where students can volunteer and record their volunteer hours. The Jefferson Committee is also organizing the school-wide contest to encourage students to record their community service hours. For four years, we have strived to create connections with other schools to join and recruit for the Jefferson program, and this year we actually exceeded our goals and we recruited two schools. We recruited Space Coast and MCC. Unfortunately, Space Coast couldn't make it, but we have two representatives from MCC here today. We have met with their administration, we got them signed on for the Students in Action program, and now they're officially part of the Jefferson program. 
the vision for O'Galley is we're, we don't require hours, but we require that we want to be the number one school in Bavard County for volunteer hours. And we want to have a unique, long-lasting project such as the ones that we had this year. Our SIA vision for this year was to combine our business partners with our Jefferson Committee to provide internships, scholarships, volunteer opportunities, and other things in the community that would help us and their, part their businesses. We told our story in the community through many ways. Business partners obviously were one of them. We put things out in the local newspapers, Florida Today, Space Coast, local. We put things out at our school. We had a Facebook committee that everyone's allowed to join and look at, see what we're doing. We have posters around our school, all sorts of things. Our biggest innovate was our SGA um, voting program, project. We saw that some of the SGA students were having difficulty finding officers to stand up for leadership positions. So we set a goal to get more students to vote for our local officers. We contacted Florida Today and their supervisor, Lori Scott. We set up actual, real voting touchscreen booths that our students can use. And it turns out that we actually ended up having three times more votes this year than we had last year because of that. This is basically a recap of what we went over, some of the new things we have. We have our home room at O'Galley, which is pretty cool, and we recruited two schools and not just one, so that was a big thing for us. And that's our presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much.